Good morning, good morning. Hi boys and girls, how are you doing today? What an incredible day, amazing. Um, I hope that you get your work done quickly so you can have lots of recess time today and just get out and enjoy this incredible blue sky and this awesome day in Montana. So um, I'm definitely wishing you well. Uh, all right, let's get rolling with today. Today in your reading, you're gonna be working with inferences and, and um, that means to make a, the best guess that you could make. It's, it's an educated guess. So without even reading this story, I can look at this picture and my best guess about that is that that little bunny is sleepy. I can see the moon in the sky. I can see the mommy holding the bunny and cuddling um, it close. So my best guess is uh, that little bunny is sleepy and mommy is getting ready to um, put that bunny to sleep. So that's an inference, okay? That's to infer. You're gonna make your best guess. All right, uh, this week, we're of course talking about the daytime sky and the nighttime sky, and I'm gonna read a great folk tale again. Another folk tale. This this um, this week we're really into folk tales. It seems um, it's called the story of the sun and the moon, uh, but it's gonna be a little bit different than the other folk tales because it's gonna rhyme. So there's gonna be some great rhyming in there, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. I want to go over the vocabulary words for the week. Um, Bright is one of the words, and that that means you give off a lot of light. So like the sun today is really, really bright. Um, dark, it's when things have little or no light. Like um, at nighttime, it gets really dark. Your bedroom um, at night when you're getting ready to go to bed, you probably turn off the lights so it gets dark and shut the curtains. Um, shine means to send out light. So maybe in your bedroom you have like a night light that shines out a little bit of light so you can see if you need to get up. Um, that you won't run into the wall, all right? Um, and shadow, a shadow is a dark shape um, that is made when something blocks the light. So let's see. You can see right here on my face is a shadow. Um, and I'm even waving, do you see my, yep. My fingers um, are making a shadow on my face because it's blocking the light of the sun. So I can even do a thumbs up. See that thumbs up on my cheek? All right, so that's a shadow. Okay, when you're blocking the light, it gives a dark shape. Um, let's get rolling with the story. The author today is Ken Nesbitt, and that means the author wrote the words. The illustrator is David Diaz. That means David did the pictures, yeah, did the artwork for the story. So they worked together as a team to put together this folktale for you that's been um, passed down for lots of lots of years and shared with lots of lots of people. Um, remember, this is a rhyming one. So rhyming words uh, have the same sound in the middle and at the end. So if I was thinking of the word sky, uh, words that might rhyme with sky are try, fly, buy, okay? Um, if I think about night, words that might rhyme with night are um, oh, fight, light, sight, kite, Lots of great words to um, rhyme with night. Uh, all right, so let's get rolling. This story is gonna be about two friends, the sun and the moon. And in the beginning of the story, the two friends play a lot together. And we're gonna listen to find out how the sun and the moon are alike and how they might be different. Okay, go ahead and pick it up. You can grab your fishing pole. Clyde just dropped his fishing pole. He'll get it. The sun and the moon were best of friends. They played up in the sky. I don't know, there's the moon. They found it fun to romp and run. They liked to glide and fly. Look at that beautiful picture of the sun. But then one summer afternoon, they'd played so long outside and had such fun that soon the sun grew tired and sleepy-eyed. Like maybe that sun is singing a lullaby. As the daytime turned to evening, with the nighttime coming soon, he went to sleep and 
and slumbered deep and dreamed about the moon. So in this page, you can see the moon's up in the sky and the sun is sleeping and it's starting to go down. The moon was having too much fun. The stars were shining bright. And so she played and danced and swayed and stayed awake all night. When morning came, the sun arose and went outside to play, but could not find his friend, the moon, who slept inside all day. So now the sun is up, but no moon. So now these two are best of friends, apart in dark and light. The sun turns in when daytime ends and the moon stays out all night. The sun going down and the moon high up in the sky with the bright shiny stars. The shining moon sees no sunlight. The sun sees no, sees no moonbeams. But when they each are fast asleep, they're in each other's dreams. So that's another folk tale about the story of the sun and the moon. I hope you really, really enjoyed that. All right, have an awesome day out there today, guys. Whew. I'm gonna try to get out and get some sunshine too. Um, I hope you know that I'm missing you so, so much, and we'll just keep in touch. Have a great day.